Sue, um, to discuss the uh, period menstruation as seen in that video there. Let's do some other stories. Some residents of Jamestown are calling for the resettlement of some squatters in the community whom they accuse of engaging in all forms of vices. The residents are also appealing to government to re-demarcate the layout of the community to ensure residents are properly settled. <laughs> Jamestown is a fishing community, but a visitor is greeted by as many, if not more, filth than fish. Choked gutters and heaps of refuse adorn nearly every corner. According to some of these residents, the poor drainage system in the community has accounted for this. <laughs> But the residents are more to blame for the choked gutters. Perhaps living with the filth became the new norm, as this food vendor tells us communal labor to clean the environment has yielded very little results. <laughs> Without a dam site, residents at best can only gather but not properly dispose of their waste. They are therefore calling on government to provide a dam site. One major thing is worrying us for this beach is we have to talk to the assemblymen, then they support the uh, chief prince who is take care of fishermen because of angenic. The AMA to support that thing. <laughs> So it is always a period of despair for residents of flood prone areas such as Adabraka, Odona, Sahara when the rains set in. They have lived through a series of floods but now want a permanent solution to address it. Residents want work on community drinks expedited before the rainy season starts this year. Odona, Sahara, a community which has seen years of devastation caused by floods. The drainage system here is in poor condition. The threats of another flood in this community looms once the rain set in. The bane of residents of Sahara is the decision to live close to the Odona drain, which is not able to contain rainwater because it is now choked with silt. Several attempts have been made towards the silt in the Odona drain. But it remains a hopeless case as the drains refill with silt over short periods of time. Machines come here, be a quaint number of statue about Gio, Niji Ake, Ibrahim, Mama, machine session, about Willie, Katie, you mean like a Kedji, Ibania Wawo, Kedji, Aji, Aji, and when me, I can't know and buy if I flew fine. If I flood, can he be a care, he buy an hour, why, no fiano, Banya, Bashi. Attempts are being made towards minimizing the devastation caused by floods in this community with the construction of drains. Just one hour. Can you mon be an she botemi? No ele and quala my family. She now if you got an ele dabi, one na kuna kinda. No one two times femukumukuya sham pepepe. Mofia mo ya sham pepepe no one no problem. The assembly man wants more resources committed to construct other drains within the community. As this one is being constructed, and we have earth drain, which if it should rain now, all will go, mud will stay. And when, they, when the mud stays, that means it's going to stay under the construction drain that they've constructed. So all the earth drains 
around this area must be constructed. So as this one is being done, we are so much happy. But the main one is the problem. The Meteorological Service has predicted heavy rains during this year's wet season, which may flood vulnerable areas. For residents of Adabaka Sahara not to suffer another episode, they want urgent steps taken to desail the Odona drain. It took the intervention of some police to bring sanity to the Capital View Hotel after some lecturers and students of the Kofoidia Technical University took their demonstration to the school's council meeting. The aggrieved members of KTU are demanding the removal of the council chairman, Professor Samuel Apori, for undue interference in the management of the institution. The aggrieved members of KTU accused the council chairman of taking arbitrary decisions and micromanaging the university. One such decision, they say, has led to the delay in promoting well-deserving lecturers. The council chairman is alleged to have also cancelled all payment of contractors and suppliers, unilaterally extending indefinitely the term of office of the pro-vice-chancellor, who exhausted his tenure without recourse to the council, creating tension. Dr. Anthony Ayakwa local chairman of the Technical University Teachers Association, says several petitions sent to the Ministry of Education and the Council has not yielded results, hence the demonstration. To push this petition and call on the Council to act, to stop that undue interference and the delays in the promotion, and that's what we are pursuing as a staff. Now we think that there are processes and issues for their structures. We are petitioning uh, people who are what, higher than the council chairman who can cause for more change. Now if we talk to him and it doesn't work, next time you see us, we'll not be here, we'll be outside. The vice chairman of TUTAG, Jamal Mohammed, said the mismanagement of the school is affecting academic work, therefore the council chairman must resign. The system which are going to regulate our well-being have not been educating them. The systems are not open and transparent enough. So we feel that we should be able to have the opportunity to be able to run the system effectively and efficiently. But one of our prime aim of demonstrating is to see to it that members are promoted. And when members are promoted, I think the well-being of the members are going to be guaranteed. The council, upon realizing the demonstrators changed venue for their meeting from the campus to the Capital View Hotel, pursued them there, contrary to what was agreed on with the police. The petition was finally delivered. Nonetheless, the police whisked away the council chairman. In the process, Professor Samuel Apori told the media the petition of the demonstrators will be considered. <laughs> Watching GH1 Newsroom, let's take a break. There's more news after that. The story of love, betrayal and revenge gets more intriguing and exciting. When a man's heart is bent on a brutal revenge, it surely becomes his sin and weakness, especially when it involves the woman he loves. How about my brother Raphael? Why isn't he as lucky? Listen, what on earth does Raphael have to do with this, Heronimo? Explain to me because I don't understand. I don't understand why your life has to depend on your dead brother. Carlos, I didn't even know Raphael. How else would I know La Bonita? Listen, I didn't know his brother, even in a photograph. I don't know. Do you have a picture of him? Timeless love intrigues all your senses to relate with the characters. Love and hate them at the same time as they evolve and go through love, disappointments, betrayal, revenge, sadness, and new beginnings. And only you and I will know that my son's real father is Rafael. But Rafael is already dead. And Matias must always believe that your son is Hieronymus. When my pregnancy becomes obvious, then people will think it's a product of our it's love. It's not a product of our love. It's from that imbecile Hieronimo. And I'm hiding the truth for you. Don't miss any of the episodes of Timeless Love showing from Monday to Friday at 7.30 p.m. and repeated every weekday at 10 a.m. You put happiness back into my life. What changed? Why do you act like this? What did I do to you? Timeless Love is proudly brought to you by Gino, 
My dear rice, oba spaghetti, frito, vivo, indomie instant noodles, and gandol cosmetics. GH1 TV, your best experience.